everyone we are back again with another question for your cuet entrance exam let us have a look at this question for what value of the parameter m does the equation have a unique solution so if you remember whenever we write our equation as um, you know ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 we understand that this equation is going to go ahead and have uh, the, the value of x will be minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is what is the value of x, right? Now, just imagine if I get that this part is 0, this is the part. Uh, which, which brings in two values of x because sometimes you're adding something to b. And the other time you're subtracting something from B. So you are getting two solutions of X. But now just imagine if this part itself becomes zero, then the only solution of X that would be possible will be minus B divided by 2A. Isn't it? This is the only solution that would be possible. So what we can go ahead and do in this case is that we just have to equate this b square minus 4ac to 0. Now just have a look at this equation, everyone. So what will you have? Minus 2x square plus mx minus 2. This is 0. So but so what is b square? b square is this now. So b square is m square minus 4. What is your a? a is this minus 2. What is your C? C is this minus 2. So you will get M square. 4 into 2, 8 into 2, 16. Minus 16 is 0. So your M square will be 16. So your M will be plus minus 4. So when your M takes the value plus or minus 4, then you will have only one solution to X. Only one single solution of x would be possible. Is this clear? Okay. Now I am leaving a question for you and I want you to go ahead and answer this question. When would it be the case that you will have two unique solutions of x? And when would it be the case that you will have no solution of x? Go ahead and please answer this question for the same equation that is given to you in this question. Okay, I will meet you again tomorrow with another question of CUET. Till then, keep practicing.